I guess Indian gurus have been in vogue over recent years in the West. The Beatles introduced us to the Maharishi. The Orange people blindly followed the Bhagwan. But there have been others far more credible and far more respectable. My next guest is a Bombay lady whose following is growing around the world. She says that, um, that you have the power to deal positively with every problem from con men to cancer. All you have to do is know how to tap into it, to tap into that power. Would you please welcome the lady acclaimed as India's greatest living saint, the mother of Sahaja Yoga, Sri Mataj. I know that it's very difficult for anyone to sum up one's religion, but is it possible to say what is Sahaja Yoga? Sahaja. Saha means with. Ja is born with you. This is born with you. Within us is the power which can give us the status of a spirit. We are not yet the spirit. We are at a human level. And in the evolutionary process, we have to now have the breakthrough to become the spirit. That's very essential and is absolutely eventually the all uh, possible natural thing that has to happen. It should happen to all of us. And the time has come for you to get to that position where you become the spirit. All the religions have talked about it and told about it. But people have gone wrong in believing that artificially, if you uh, say that you are baptized or you have become a Brahmin, or you have become a peer, that you have become the spirit. It's not that. It's a happening that has to take place within ourselves, which is a living process, absolutely living process of the living divine force within ourselves. So we've heard of, of lots of, uh, of yogas. Um, how does this differ from other Indian yogas? Other yogas uh, were practiced mostly after getting realization, but as it has come from some half-baked people, it is in a very funny way that people follow it as if they have to take all the medicines together and they don't know any discrimination about it. Unless and until you make this force rise within you, you will not know what uh, type of attention is needed and what type of physical exercise is needed. Indiscriminately, people do physical exercises getting into trouble. Now, you speak of the force. Is it possible to say what this, where does this force emanate from? This force is a residual power in our triangular bone called a sacrum. Sacrum. Called a sacrum. 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 Okay. Now, the sacrum is where it comes from Greek. And that means Greek people knew this was a sacred bone. It rises from there, passes through our six centers, piercing through our fontanel bone area, and you get the cool breeze of the Holy Ghost coming out of our head. That's what Christians refer to as Yes. I mean, Holy Ghost, what is the Holy Ghost? Uh, nobody can explain, but Holy Ghost is very simple to understand. This is the reflection of the Holy Ghost within us. Holy Ghost is the desire of God. God himself watches the working of the desire, and the desire is that we all should become the Spirit. And this desire is reflected in our triangular bone in three and a half points. When is this the central nervous system? No, it is in the triangular bone. It's this force, this is the fourth force within us. Okay. Is, we have sympathetic nervous system, left and right, and we have got autonomous, that is an autonomous nervous system, and parasympathetic, and we have also central nervous system. Now, this is the system which is not yet working. It is still in the triangular bone. When it rises, it gives you, you a new dimension of the Spirit. means the light of the Spirit comes in our attention. In that case, what happens is very simple <coughs> to understand that at human level, we are not in the absolute state, not in the absolute state. That's why there's a chaos. Supposing I'm holding a snake in my hand, you see, and there's no light. Somebody tells me that there's a snake, I will not throw it up. I would not like to listen to anybody's advice about it. But if there's a light, I'll throw it away. In the same way, when you become the Spirit, the light of the Spirit guides you. He, you become your own master, you become your own guru. You don't have to have any guru for that. This piercing of the fontanel bone by the Kundalini gives you the power of the Spirit. But, uh, but you're talking about a physical power, a spirit, that comes out of the top of your head. No, it's an energy. An energy, all right. It's an energy which comes out of your fontanel bone area, here, area, 
touching the spirit, but the spirit actually resides in the heart. But the main seat of the heart is here in the fontanel bone area, and it pierces through. When it pierces through, actually it should pierce. It's not just I say I baptize you. It's not like that. It has to pierce through that, and you have to feel the cool breeze of the Holy Ghost on top of your head. Is and it there now? Yes, it's there. Can I and feel it? I don't know if you'll feel it or not, because you'll have to have that sensitivity. Now, you see, all around, also that all-pervading power is there, which makes everything uh, vibrate. But this energy can be felt only when you have got that realization. Then what happens is that all your centers on your fingertips become sensitive. And you can feel, this is written in, in the Quran, that your hands will speak when you will get to your resurrection. Yes. It is a resurrection. But, Natasha, you must know, you must realize, I mentioned the Maharishi and I mentioned the Bhagwan and so on, you must live with the skeptics and the doubters because of those... Of course, of, those of course, I'm living with them all the time. The con men who've come, <laughs> who've come yes. before you. Yes. Now, firstly, you see, the, the great mistake we commit, as far as going to gurus or to anything that is religious, is that you cannot pray for God. You see, it's a living process of a living God. Now, supposing you want to sprout a seed, how much money do you pay to the Mother Earth? It's a very simple thing, but people don't understand. They think that they can purchase everything. You cannot purchase God. A simple uh, method, if you apply to all of them, they will all run away. I read that, uh, that this spirit, this power you speak of, can deal with, as I said, I mentioned the comment, but can deal with, uh, with cancer. Because, see, I'll show you now, this is the center. We can say this is the medulla oblongata, or we can say this is through which the central canal is passing. Now, the center is inside here. Now, when we are in the imbalance, say we go too much towards the left side, means we become too emotional or do all kinds of wrong, nonsensical conditioning. Then, or if we go too much to the right in ego and all that, you see, then we break this. Once we break this, what happens? That the center becomes constricted, and the energy becomes constricted. Slowly it breaks the relationship with the head, with the whole, and it becomes malignant. When it becomes malignant, it starts uh, overpowering other cells, and that's how cancer detects it. All right. Well, it's very difficult to understand and, and, and understand it cold as I'm doing now. Yesterday we had 1,500 people downstairs and about 500 people upstairs, and most of them got realized through radio and television, you've, you've told people at no, home. They're very sensitive people at Hong Kong. Perhaps they're in trouble now because they have to go away and all that. Maybe that is it. People so. who are in, <laughs> in need are more sensitive, are they? I think so, because they then anchor after God. You see, otherwise they think we are all right. What, what, what to care for God? You see, who is God after all? Otherwise, Australians are very good. Are they? They, We're they very are receptive, the best are they? they are the best people. They're very innocent and they get their realization very fast. They stick on to it, and they have done wonders. They have done wonders. I should make the point that I saw one of your uh, advertisements in one of the papers today, and you, uh, I think you're, there is a, a meeting tonight at the State Theatre in Sydney, but there is no fee charge. You're not in the, Of course not. You're not charging. You're not no, no, not at all. You're rounding up money. No. <laughs> no, I should make... All right, we thank you for your time. You're staying thank another you. week or so in Australia. You, yes. You've been to other states, and you're now doing Sydney. Yes. With a, with a I'll be going to Melbourne. Sydney and Melbourne, uh, and then to New Zealand. I, and to New Zealand also. All right, we thank you. I'm sure if, uh, if you'd like much. to see Natasha, you could uh, check your local newspapers and find where she's yeah. meeting people. Thank you thank very much you. indeed. Thank Please you. thank you, Natasha. <laughs> Please stay. Please stay.